Our next session is titled 2022 Government API and Data Trends. With us is Brenton House. He's VP of Digital Evangelism with Software AG. Take it away, Brenton. So thanks for giving me a minute, a few minutes of your time today. And speaking of minutes, a lot can happen in a minute. In the next 60 seconds, UPS will deliver around 11,319 packages. Apple will make a little over $70,000. In a single minute, over $3 million will be donated to charities around the world. In the next 60 seconds, over 700,000 telephone calls will be made. 60 seconds is not a lot of time, but it's enough time for a lot to happen. So let's take a look at what can happen in a digital minute. According to the 2021 results compiled by Domo, a lot does happen in a digital minute. Now, I'm not going to read all of these, but for instance, but they're really big numbers. For instance, in the next 60 seconds, 60 million, 6 million people will shop online. People will watch 694,000 hours of videos on YouTube. Twitter users will post about 575,000 tweets. Slack users will send about 148,000 messages. Users will stream about 452,000 hours of video on Netflix. Google will conduct 5.7 million searches. 12 million people send an iMessage. Users will send about 2 million Snapchats and people will watch 167 million videos on TikTok. So the list goes on and on, but there is one thing in common. All these data services and more are powered by APIs. Now, I want to welcome you and walk you through a quick um, look at the 2022 Government API and Data Trends. Um, my name again is Brenton House. I'm the Vice President for Digital Evangelism at Software AG. I've worked with APIs for about 25 plus years, and I'm excited to be able to give you a quick peek at what's trending for government APIs and data. So let's jump into it. At number 10, we have the growth of the API economy. Now, the API economy is taking the world by storm, and it affects government just as much as it does other industries. So when I'm referring to the API economy, I'm not just referencing monetizing your APIs and data. No, it's much more than this. It's about revolutionizing how agencies are organizing their teams, resources, and budgets around APIs and data. It's about the entire supply chain being powered by APIs. It's about government agencies being able to seamlessly integrate with other agencies. It's about handling, processing, and integrating with huge amounts of data every day. It's about providing a way to request an Uber ride and track it from beginning to end. And it's even about ordering dinner for your family and having it delivered to your home. It's estimated that about 85% of all internet traffic is API traffic. APIs are the digital gateway to your data and it. They're what enables your organization to be able to engage with users and other agencies in this digital world. In order to stay competitive and relevant in this world of APIs and data integrations, organizations are now adopting API for strategies and allocating the budget and resources to equip them to succeed and win in 2022. At number nine, we have modernization, specifically how APIs are powering the modernization of organizations across all sectors within government and beyond. There's often a huge dependency on mainframe and legacy systems, but this can also be a growing liability as systems age and workforce shrinks and integrations with modern data systems is changing. We are seeing an increase in number of organizations that are leveraging APIs and API platforms to replace and or extend the capabilities of their legacy systems. Now, one staggering statistic from a recent study shows that 70% of digital transformation initiatives fail. This can happen for a variety of reasons, but some of the most common ones include things like not having access to the right data. Getting the right data at the right time is critical. Using a trusted API and integration platform can often solve a lot of these problems. But another one is using the wrong technical solution. As I referred to earlier, there are multiple ways of tackling these problems. Sometimes replacing a legacy system is the best option, but other times, the smartest thing to do is to use modern integration systems to securely integrate APIs with your mainframe systems. This means that you can 
add capabilities or information to your mainframe and still be able to take advantage of the security protection and governance that your API management system can provide. Coming in at number eight, we have API and data integration experience. Now everyone wants their experience with their API and data integrations to be magical. From APIs, documentations, API developer portals, API artifacts, a lot can be said about the user and developer experience across the entire API and data landscape. The reason experience is on the top 10 list is that along with the huge growth of APIs in the past few years, there has been a corresponding growth in the expectations that users and organizations have when they go to consume or integrate with an API product. API products and portfolios need to include things like being intuitive, including well-documented APIs, having a great onboarding experience, having great logging and analytics, and even including code samples. A great user experience for your APIs and data integrations can give you and your organization an edge up and make a world of difference in the success of your API and digital transformation initiatives. At number seven, we have open standards for APIs and integrations. In the past few years, we've seen everything opening up and an increased adoption of open standards. From the advancement of tools, technology, code, and no-code solutions, it's actually not that difficult to build an API these days. However, building APIs that are extensible, scalable, and actually use best practices and are properly and properly implement open standards can be much more difficult. RESTful APIs and open standards such as SOAP, Swagger, Open API, JSON Schema, Async API, and GraphQL have been around for a while, but we're seeing a substantial growth in the community around, these develop around the development of these standards and the participation from government agencies and other organizations in keeping these standards up to date with new features and improved documentation. My recommendation would be to get involved with these groups that support these standards and participate in the process of growing the API community. Now, if you're consuming and using these standards, and I'm sure you are, keep up to date with the, um, the changes to ensure that you are producing and integrating with APIs in the best possible and securest way. Closely related to open API standards, we have API and data integration best practices coming in at number six. Well, there are always been best practices of some sort around the use of APIs, integrations, and microservices, it's been kind of hit and miss with what you could find and where you could find it. Often best practices have conflicting messages or might be vague leading to branches of differing micro best practices. Although RESTful APIs are solidifying their position as a current standard for APIs, we're also seeing an increase in the use of GraphQL, gRPC, and others. Now, this has driven an increase in the need for formalized best practices, not only covering what technology and standards to use, but how to do it in the best possible way so that you can reduce the amount of future rework involved. Best practices cover many API topics, including but not limited to API security, data integrations, versioning, on-premise versus cloud versus hybrid, and many more. At number five, we're seeing an increase in the push for regulation-driven API data and integration changes for various sectors across the government and industry alike. Take open banking for an example of this. Um, now, this is something that's driven by government regulations in like Europe, Latin America, and other regions, but understanding how this was implemented and how the changes impact technical data and integration requirements for applications is very important. The healthcare industry is also seeing growth with the development and implementation of fire and other healthcare standards. Government regulations and guidance can, are can, constantly changing, as you well know. So expect to see a continued growth in some of the government sectors for how data is stored, secured, accessed, shared, and more. At number four, we have API and data integrations automation. Now this goes beyond the automation that we've seen in previous years where we've seen the beginning of automation for security and integrations. A whole new level of digital automation is moving in and anything that can be automated probably will be. Keep an eye out for advancements in the role of artificial intelligence and machine learning in the next stage of automation growth. And number three, we have adaptive API management. 
managing the data integration ecosystem and the entire API lifecycle can be challenging. Every agency is different and often the needs and regulations and requirements can be quite complex. Organizations need to adapt quickly to changes in the market, changes in government regulations, changes in technology, and even changes in how and where people work. New APIs are created every day and people need API management solutions that can adapt as well. Whether you're adapting to new policy requirements, new security threats, new integration requirements, or new partner opportunities. Because of issues like this, 2022 will see continued growth of and demand for intelligent and adaptive API management systems, which provide a robust and holistic approach to API management. Like most systems and applications these days, um, AI and ML will have a growing role in tackling these upcoming challenges facing government agencies this year. At number two, we have seamless integrations. An API without integrations is kind of like a car without fuel or power. It may look pretty, but it's not very functional. Not only do APIs need to accept integrations and integrate with other APIs, but there can be also complex requirements for securing, chaining, transforming, and sanitizing the incoming and outgoing data across these integrations. APIs need to be able to easily integrate with anything, anywhere. Now, 2022 is seeing a need for seamless API integrations that grows and scales even further with solid and proven integration tools standing out from the crowd because of their smooth and seamless handling of the integration process, both on-prem and in the cloud. Because of this increased demand for secure integrations with other APIs and systems, organizations want and need products that can remove the friction from their integration experience. At number one, we have API security and cybersecurity. Now, as long as there have been APIs, there have been hackers who have been searching for vulnerabilities in these APIs. API security and cybersecurity is of critical importance for every agency and organization, especially now. Nobody wants to be in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Earlier, Gartner had predicted that by 2022, API abuses would move from infrequent to the most frequent attack vector. The growth in, in not only the number of APIs, but the exponential growth in API usage has made this prediction all the more impactful on government agencies in every sector. According to the latest Salt Lab reports, API traffic increased by 141% and API attacks have, had increased by 348% in the previous six months. 348%. Let that sink in a second. According to a more recent Gartner CIO and technical executive survey, cyber and information security are at the top of the list for planned investments in 2022. This is not really surprising as leaders are feeling the pressure to put budget and resources behind cybersecurity to protect their APIs, data, their users, and their reputation. The core to your API security strategy and to blocking malicious attackers is a solid and properly configured API gateway. Other components that can work with your API gateway uh, help you shield your APIs and data include web application firewalls and standalone security products. Closely related to API cybersecurity is the topic of encryption and privacy. Organizations are increasing their understanding and proper implementation of encryption to be able to protect their data. This is even more critical for government agencies. Encryption at rest, encryption in transit, encryption in use, Everything from storage and transmission of data requires a critical security eye when planning and implementing DevOps and information security. Privacy is also direct, directly related to this as API cybersecurity is an essential key to securing the privacy of users and employees. Understanding the and proper handling of PII and PHI continue to be a priority. Not only does data need to be secured, but sometimes the best decision is not to store data at all. There are differing, differing government regulations surrounding consumer privacy and data in different parts of the world, but government security and privacy regulations can drive a strategy that reduces unnecessary data storage to protect both consumers and government organizations alike. With the rising importance of API cybersecurity, it is critical for everyone to understand what API cybersecurity is, 
what is at risk, how to protect and defend your APIs, your data, and other systems from attack. Now, as a bonus item, keep a close watch on composable API and data solutions. While well, composable architecture has been around for a while, the term is getting some extra attention lately, and you'll start to see organizations that will forego building part or all of an API and may instead compose new APIs together from existing APIs and integrations. These new APIs will integrate with, each, with other APIs to build a feature-rich API and integration system that leverages the features, capabilities, and other systems, both internal and external, instead of building new systems from the ground up. So I know this was a pretty quick walkthrough, but there you have the top 10 government API and data integration trends for 2022. Uh, take these and use these as a guide um, to see how the dis digital transformation is driving your agency forward and what you need to do to ensure that you're not left behind. So uh, thank you for joining me on this talk today. Um, I know we have, we're sending out a survey. So if you have any questions or you're interested in starting a conversation after the session, please um, fill it out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brenton. Uh, we very much appreciate that presentation and the new technology you use. Margo, can we pull up the poll question? And the poll question here is, are you interested in further discussions on your own API strategy with your agency? Yes, have someone contact me or not at this time. If you could answer that, we'd appreciate it. Thank you, Michael. 